Now we're going to look at how we can copy and find specific pieces of information from an article that we found so that we can use it to write our research paper. Okay, so I'm, again, I'm, my topic is discrimination in Mexico and South Korea, but first I'm looking at Mexico. So I um, searched Google for discrimination in Mexico. I found some links. Um, I'm going to click on uh, one of these. I'm going to click on, um, uh, let's see, which one should I do? I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do racism.org. Okay, clicked on that. Um, so I have this nice article, right, uh, from racism.org. It's got racism in many different countries. Seems very um, reliable. It's an org website. Um, this is, oh, this is an executive summary. Uh, so it's something kind of written by... Um, printed by the Human Rights Documentation Center. So it's a very official document printed by this organization, okay? It's not just some random guy who's writing this article. So let's uh, search, you know, this is a very long article, right? I don't, maybe you don't want to read everything. I want to just see, are there, is there any pieces of information in this article that I can use for my research report? So I'm going to um, open Microsoft Word, okay? <clears throat> I have it open right here. I have a new document. Pages is also okay. Text, edit, notepad, anything. Um, keep that open. All right. So um, I'm going to, I have a Mac computer. So I want to search for the word discrimination in this article. Okay. Maybe we'll find out. We can quickly look through this article by searching for the word discrimination. So I have a Mac computer. So I'm going to press Command F. If you have a Windows computer, you press Control F, and F stands for Find. So ready? Command F, right? And this up here in the upper right, this search bar appears. I'm going to type in the word um, discrimination. And there's 12 instances of the word discrimination, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, Let's go, okay, the first one's here, the second one's here, third one's here. Let's see if there's anything down here. All right, so let's look at this sentence here. It says, the indigenous Indian population continues to face systematic discrimination. So Indian population in Mexico, that's interesting, huh? Okay, um, indigenous Indians, right? So native Mexicans, just like we have Native Americans. Uh, let's look for the next word discrimination. Okay, here we go. In addition, Indians' inability to speak Spanish means that they face widespread employment discrimination in Spanish-speaking areas in Mexico. Um, okay, 40% of the migrant farm workers are Indian. They have low-income jobs. Um, okay, so that's another interesting fact, right? Um, so let me copy this sentence, right? These are some good sentences. I'm going to uh, Command C, or I'm going to do this, right? And go to my Microsoft Word. Okay, I'm going to make some spaces. I'm going to copy that sentence. Remember, I'm not putting this in my essay. I'm not plagiarizing this sentence. I'm just putting it here so I can see it later, right? Because I don't want to read through the whole article. Okay, I'm going to continue to go through. Okay. Here's another one. Oh, interesting. Indigenous women suffer many instances of double discrimination. The illiteracy rate among women is 20%. Indigenous women is 20%. Um, so sexual assault and rape and things like that. So this paragraph is about discrimination against women. So this seems like a useful paragraph for my research. I'm going to copy it into Microsoft Word. Okay. And let's just continue, keep going down here. All right. Um, and this is saying what the government is doing. The government says that racial discrimination does not exist in Mexico. What? So this tells what the government is doing about it. And it sounds like they're not really doing anything about it. So I'm going to paste that in because that could be a nice part of my paper. What is the government doing about discrimination in Mexico? And what is the government in Korea doing about discrimination in Korea? 
So remember, I just took out a few little tiny facts. I didn't read the whole article, but maybe I should go back and I should read. There's probably some other useful information here. Um, 56 ethnic and indigenous groups in Mexico. Interesting. That could be very useful for my research as well. I'm going to put that up here in Microsoft Word. So, okay. Now, um, the last step is... I want to I want to save this website. I'm going to go to Microsoft Word. I'm going to paste the URL so I know where I found this information. And let's just summarize this in our own words, okay? So uh, we have fifth. Uh, we have the URL. We have 56 ethnic and indigenous groups, okay? Uh, we have. We know we learned that um, Indians um, who can't speak Spanish, there is discrimination against Indians who can't speak Spanish. Um, low income jobs, and then we have forty percent are migrant farm workers according to this paragraph. So I just summarized that paragraph, so I'm done. Next paragraph, let's look, let's summarize this paragraph. Just what are the important facts here? We have indigenous women have, oh, I spelled that wrong. I don't really care. Let's just auto-correct that. Double discrimination. Okay, and we have things like illiteracy, the inability to read, we have um, rape and sexual assault in the military. Okay, rape, sexual assault in military. And um, uh, justice is not administered fairly after women report abuse. The outcome is often heavily in favor of the male defendants. So um, justice system does not basically does not listen to women's cases. Okay, so that's pretty much everything from that paragraph I need. Delete it. Okay, last part. Um, okay, the government still maintains that racial discrimination does not exist. That's very important. Okay, government, we'll say Mexican government, says racism does not exist. That's basically what it's saying, right? Um, it contends that racial discrimination is not the cause of poverty, but poverty is the cause of discrimination. So that's an interesting quote there. All right, let's copy that. Oh, cut it, whatever. Mexican government says racism does not exist. It states that, and I'm going to put quotes because I copied it directly. Remember, if you copy something directly, you put quotes. And that's everything from that paragraph. So this information here is the information I'm going to put in my essay. Notice I just took this really big, long article. I searched for discrimination. I copied and pasted in here. And then I summarized it in my own words. And now I have information for my article. OK, so that's the process you go through to find, take out information from an article that you find for your research.